Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beamer Toyota in Nashville. Want to show you the HUD system on the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. All right, so um, you have a heads up display that is available on some of these vehicles. Um, definitely not on all of them, but it is on some of them. So, wanted to show you this and how to adjust it. So, should be able to see it right about there all right so um it'll obviously show uh your eco your park your compass is all right there some of those things can be changed around of course um navigation alerts will show up there as well um it looks like it's flashing it's just the way it's being recorded um but you can kind of get the uh the idea of what that looks like there and i'm gonna show you how to adjust it all right so you're gonna pop over here right and you're gonna go over until you get to the settings mode all right once you're in the settings mode which is that little gear you're going to start coming down now you've got hud main you can turn the hud on or off if i hit that button you'll see that the hud goes off hud comes on well when it's on if you press and hold that button right in the very center there now you come to brightness and position so now when you hit brightness you're going to see up or down is uh the position and left or right is the brightness so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna to go to the right and you can see how it actually starts to look a little bit better because now i've made it as bright as it can be and the camera can actually pick it up a little bit better all right so if i start going back to the left you'll see it'll start to flash again because it starts to get really and that's not flashing from the car you can still see it it's just the way the camera picks it up makes it harder for the camera to see it all right but i'm gonna go all the way full bright and then you got up or down is your position so when you adjust it up or down you see those brackets all right so if you start going too far down part of those brackets will start to disappear and you don't if you can't see the brackets then obviously you're not gonna be able to see the uh the uh, hud all right so the bracket should end up being right in your vision kind of so if we're kind of looking at it like this you can be right there but you can still have it just a little bit lower just a little bit higher and you're still gonna be able to see it once you get to too high now you see it starts to cut off all right so wherever you want it to be you just need it to kind of go there all right so once you've got it to hey i'm in a pretty good spot i can see it it's where i want it to be then you can come by and um come back to now here's your driving support so what do you want well there's navigation the gauge settings so eco indicator you can turn off the eco indicator um, your lane departure will show up on here you can turn that on or off driver assist you can turn that on or turn that off and if you actually watch when i turn it on now you've got your lane departure your radar ready for your cruise control all of that will now show up in your heads up display um so if i shut it back off that goes away and then you just have the compass or that um, there's other things that'll show up your navigation turns will show up there too um, it will um, eliminate this and show you your next navigation turn when uh, it's time for a navigation turn so um like i said it's just uh really cool so you can turn off your compass turn on your compass right here uh the audio so let's uh come back i'll turn the driver assist off so it goes back to compass right and i'm going to come down i'm going to hit compass off right so you don't have to have it on if you don't want it on right or you can come back and turn it on right if you come down to audio and you hit your audio button it would do the exact same thing um if you shut off the compass see if the audio i don't have the audio turned on so um that ain't going to do much but um but yeah, so I would always probably leave the driver assist on just because that's kind of the way that I like to do it. But this is the heads up display in the new Toyota Tundra. All right, I'm in a 1794, of course, doing a few videos in this tra in this truck because it has so much. So um, definitely let me know if you guys have any other questions. Um, always happy to help. Steve Welch, Beamer Toyota, I'm beautiful Nashville. Um, definitely, I appreciate everybody you guys for liking, subscribing, and for... Uh, going along this tundra journey with me i know we've been doing this for a while and it is a beautiful truck well worth the wait and uh, can't wait to get mine so um hopefully you guys are uh, on board with this and then just uh, let me know if there's any uh other videos that you think i need to do or anything that i'm missing i know there's a ton on the tundra yet I'm working on it guys so uh but i appreciate you guys uh definitely like subscribe and look forward to you on the next one steve welch beam toyota beautiful guys